physical fitness is a way of life, it's important that you're ready all the time. And that is part of the mindset of the tier two physical fitness test. EOD is the second career field to go after a tier two physical fitness study. We're one of the career fields that's paving the way for new changes in the Air Force. The tier two test is an operationally specific, occupationally relevant, gender neutral test that is scientifically based and scientifically relevant. When you go out on an EOD mission, the mission doesn't care if you're a male or a female and it doesn't care what age you are. It cares that the mission gets done. So that's why we have one standard. Our senior leaders understand the importance of physical fitness and how it needs to relate to your occupation. Each of the components that we have developed in the tier two test ties in some way, shape or form to the nine core mission areas. Through this three year study, we were very cognizant about bringing in both EOD and non EOD, male and female, officer and enlisted, to make sure that we had a solid picture and solid data to back up the ultimate test. We don't expect you to change everything about your life just because we have a new physical fitness test coming. We want to make sure that we don't walk into the tier two thinking that we're all professional athletes. We don't need somebody who can run 25 miles at four minutes a mile or bench press 500 pounds. That's not what we're here for. You need to be somebody that's level across the playing field. This physical fitness test will ultimately help strengthen weaker parts of our body. So hopefully the next generation doesn't have back issues and knee issues. We ask our airmen to be able to pass the test because you never know when a mission is gonna come. So you need to be ready for that at any given time. It's not about how this test affects you today. It's about longevity and creating that lifestyle across the force.